Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris again, uh, coming back to talk more about the iPad. And today what I want to talk about are the two biggest websites on the internet. And I've kind of pinpointed them here in the top left. You have Facebook and you have Google. And between those two sites, absolutely, that's where every eyeball's at each and every day. So I thought it would be good to just pinpoint the two mammoths and cover what they look like, what they feel like. If these are sites that you're on all the time and you're choosing, you know, hey, you know, listen, I don't go in uh, to some of these apps all the time, but every single day as a real estate agent, I'm going to probably need either Facebook or Google. So first thing you'll notice is that when I go into Facebook, it's a little bit weird. You know, that's not what I was expecting to see when I walked out of Best Buy $700 lighter. I did not think that I was going to end up with something that looked like this. And you guys probably can barely even see what's happening there. But you have to actually blow the app up using a 2x button. And uh, I couldn't believe that, that, you know, with a new device, with all the buzz, with everybody talking about it, it really did surprise me that they didn't have an app ready specifically for the iPad at launch. And then I went over to the Google app and it did the same thing. So I'm not going to be somebody that's going to really question Google and Facebook's intelligence. So I did a little bit of digging. And if I hop out of here, I figured out pretty quickly why they didn't want you going to their apps. One reason is going to be that look at the full version of Facebook on the iPad. Why would you go into the app when you could get the full experience here? If I want to go in and pull up the fan page... I can pull that up in one second. You'll see the search, auto searches, just like on the desktop version. It'll take me over into uh, the fan page quickly. You guys will see it does load very quickly. I have about four computers on this Wi-Fi right now, so it's slowing it down a little bit. But it really, really is easy to navigate. You guys can see. Now, the other thing that's cool is, wow, now I can actually pinch zoom on the feed to where I can blow it up or make it smaller. If I go into some of my other tabs here, if I go into the Who Is Tech Savvy Agent tab, <clears throat> you guys will see that even the FBML, which is pretty advanced, which we're doing a post on, that's even there. And you guys can kind of see the arrows spinning. So why would you go to the app? Now, the other reason that Facebook would want you in the app, uh, excuse me, in the full version, not the app, is we all know that the way Facebook makes their money as well as Google is going to be through advertising. And when you're in the Facebook app right now, the app on iPhone, there are not any ads. So my initial thought is that if we take a look at the ads that are popping up on my profile, and that's a whole other class. There's my kids, of course, which is cool. But I just love navigating Facebook like this. I think you guys will too. If we hop out of Facebook... And we hop into Google, which is another company who generates all of their revenue through advertising. That would also make sense. Let's build a full version that just runs perfectly. So if I'm looking for, uh, let's say I want Orlando Homes for sale. You guys see I'm doing the one finger typing deal. But the uh, it's really easy uh, to type on the iPad, just like the iPhone. The touch screen's perfectly responsive. But do you guys see how I'm just basically browsing the full Google? And again, wow, now they can keep those ads popping in, which keeps the lights on and then some, of course, for these big companies. So I found that interesting. The other thing I really liked was I go to Google News quite a bit. I think it's a good place to get, uh, to get your info off the web. And if I just go back, we'll just go right to News with no results. I just want you guys to see how quickly these screens change. If I want to go into Google Images or Google News or Google Shopping, or they actually built a Gmail optimized uh, for Safari for the iPad. This is pretty cool to point out. So it's not loading as quickly as I'd like it to, probably because it's the iPad optimized version. But check this out. I'm in my inbox on the left, and I'm in the email on the right. And it's actually going to load, and it's going to be a full HTML email. So they actually built a Gmail platform just for the iPad, which is really sweet. It's not working perfectly. But a little bit about Facebook, a little bit about Google, and we will keep the videos coming on the iPad. Thanks, guys.